Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Do you believe in Feng Shui? I do. At first, I was very skeptical, because I am a Christian, but now, I truly believe in its magic. God said, help yourself, and I will help you. And that's what I did. As a Christian, my belief in God, comes first, then, I combine with some Feng Shui cures, like lucky amulet bracelets. And other jewelries. And healing crystals. Some Feng Shui house ornaments. That's some hard work, and perseverance, and self-trust, I promise you. Nothing is impossible. Like others, I was also struggling with money before I started practicing Feng Shui. But before I continue, please remember to click the subscribe button below and share this video to your friends. I always have Feng Shui tip like this one coming out on my channel. If you don't want to miss any tip, then go ahead and ring the bell to be notified each time I post. Thank you very much. Now if you want to learn and are interested of Feng Shui, Please watch until the end of this video. I just want to warn those people, who don't believe in Feng Shui, to please don't watch my videos. You don't have any business here. And don't say that I will be rich if people buy a bracelet from me, I'm already rich. <laughs> Seriously speaking, that's the ugliest thing to say. In fact, you are only showing your true colors of envy. And that is a psychic illness, without any cure. So be very careful, so you won't become crazy. I have seen people laughing, and criticizing advertisements about a pixie or bracelet. It really makes me sad because, they don't know what they are talking about. Of course these ads are ridiculous. If you don't know anything about Feng Shui, and I suppose these are just a dramatization of something that had happened before, that's why the manuscript is the same on different personalities. I don't like those advertisements either. And they are comparing this genuine bracelet to a poor imitation they found on a cheap online store. It's okay though, non-believers, just laugh. At the end of the day, I promise you I will have the best laugh. I know this is true. I am a living proof. I am not a Chinese, in fact I live in Europe, but I truly believe, in its magic. Now, to continue. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. While having treatment, I lost my job, and my own company became dormant. The treatment took more than three years. But I didn't have any complaint, I was not even worried, for not having enough money than I wanted to. I survived the illness, I was living on my insurance money in years, but luckily, I have my own house, my own car, and I have everything I need, and during this time, I was able to acquire other properties, and slowly but surely, I revived, and expanded my company, and since I started with Feng Shui, it bloomed, and I could travel on a 4, to 8 weeks holiday in Asia, twice a year, in the past 4 years, I'm so grateful, first, to God of course, but I believe Feng Shui, had a very significant role in my success. I am sharing this not to brag, but instead, so you, believers or not, can also get the same luck as I got. If I have been selfish, and greedy, I should not have told anyone what I did to be successful. I am sharing this because I believe that sharing is caring, the more you share, the more abundance is coming to you. You must honestly believe in its power, show your devotion, and respect and everything will get better. So, if you really believe in Feng Shui, and have good experience about it, please share. You will get more blessings, I promise you. In case you don't know, Feng Shui is not a religion. It's a sort of pseudo-science. Feng Shui won't conflict with your religion, since God bestows wisdom, and prosperity, to those who seek it, with good intentions. Now, if you want to learn, and are interested of Feng Shui, this is the right place for you. 
I have videos about how to practice a good Feng Shui here on my channel, just look for the playlist about Feng Shui. Then if you decide to take the next step you can visit our online store, to find your favorite Feng Shui cures. You can find a lot more on our website. I would like to remind you also, to beware of others who sell cheap imitations. Our quality is by far the best on the internet. Carefully selected from the best suppliers in China where Feng Shui originated. Before you buy your Feng Shui items, please watch my videos first, especially the Pixie Wu Bracelet playlist. Once you get your favorite Feng Shui cure, you must learn to take care of it, then you will get luck, and a more positive life. Sometimes you just have to sacrifice something to get more blessings. In today's video I am going to share to you your Feng Shui birth element, and your Chinese zodiac sign. I guess many of you are not really familiar with the Chinese zodiac signs and birth elements, because many are asking me about it, so here it is. Your Feng Shui birth element, and Chinese zodiac animal sign, can influence specific tendencies of your personality. Each of the 12 animal signs, and five elements is associated with a year of the Chinese calendar. The Chinese calendar does not start on January the 1st as the Western calendar does. Instead, Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, falls on the second new moon of the year. So if you were born in January, or February, you must check where the date fell in your birth year, as your sign, and element might be of the prior Western calendar year. Each of the elements is dominant for two years, and with five elements the cycle repeats every ten years. This is referred to as the ten stems, or ten heavenly stems. The last digit of your lunar birth year determines your element. Metal, birth years ending in 0 or 1. Water, birth years ending in 2 or 3. Wood, birth years ending in 4 or 5. Fire, birth years ending in 6 or 7. Earth, birth years ending in 8 or 9. Knowing your birth element can help you create the best Feng Shui for your home, or office. It can guide the decor colors, items, and areas you should emphasize, and minimize. For example, if you were born in a fire element year, you should use shades of red and yellow, fire colors, while minimizing white, gray, green, and brown, metal and wood colors. You also should emphasize the fireplace and decorate with candles, while avoiding metal decor. The Five Elements Theory is a philosophical thought created by the Chinese ancients, also, it's a material view of ancient China. The ancient ancestors believed, that everything in the universe consisted of the operation, and change of five basic substances, metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. With the rise and fall of these five elements, Nature has undergone changes, and everything in the universe has been circulating. Moreover, the ancients also believed, that the five substances had a relationship between each other. Wood generates fire, fire generates earth, earth generates metal, metal generates water, and finally water generates wood. Five elements is a continuous circulation. Why is there such a relationship between the five elements? It turns out that this is related to the life experience of the ancients. The ancients discovered that the wood can be fired, and the ashes after the firewood are turned into earth. The earth contains metal minerals, when the metal minerals melt, it becomes water, and the water moisturizes the trees. In summary, the five elements contains the energy of universe, and when you wear such bracelet, you will feel energetic. Here are some examples, of the 5 elements bracelets, you can find on our online store. Just search for 5 elements on the search box and you'll find these items. We have styles that corresponds to your budget. These bracelets have the same effect as the genuine black obsidian wealth bracelet.
Now, let's see the Chinese zodiac animal signs. The 12 Chinese zodiac animal signs change each lunar year. Your birth zodiac animal is said to guide your personality traits and influence your compatibility with certain people. In Feng Shui, the birth animal also can affect the aspects of a dwelling to emphasize and minimize. The most common way to calculate a person's zodiac sign is to use the Chinese traditional New Year as the New Year. As the Chinese New Year usually falls between January the 21st and February the 20th, if your birthday is during this period in Gregorian date, you may belong to the zodiac sign of the last year. You can check the following chart to know your Chinese animal sign. When paired together, the Feng Shui elements and zodiac animal signs result in a 60-year cycle, called the sexagenary system. The cycle is considered to start with rat and wood, which last occurred in 1984, meaning that the cycle will stretch to 2043. You can also calculate your Chinese zodiac sign mathematically. Here is how. Divide your year of birth by 12 and read about the remainder. If the number of the year can be divided with no remainder, take the remainder as zero. Each remainder corresponds to an animal sign. Take the great singer Celine Dion for example, she was born in 1968. 1968 divided by 12 equals 164, no remainder. No remainder equals to zero, which indicates monkey sign. So she is in monkey sign. Barack Obama was born in 1961. 1961 divided by 12 equals 163, with remainder 5. 5 corresponds to ox, so Obama gets the ox sign. If you use an electronic math calculator, follow this way to get the remainder. Here let's take the year of 1988 for example. 1988 divided by 12 is almost equal to 165.667. Take the decimal 0 0.667. 0 0.667 multiplied by 12 is almost equal to 8.004. Half adjust the result, get the integer 8, and the corresponding sign of dragon. By knowing your birth element, and animal zodiac sign, you will know what kind of charms you need. For example, I don't suggest people with the sign of tiger, rabbit, and dog to use the Pishu bracelet because they are not compatible with the Pishu dragon. It may not work for them, or worse it may give them discomfort, or misfortune. But remember, this is only a guide for you. It's still up to you to decide if you want to wear it or not. My sister is a dog sign, which is one of the signs that you're not compatible with the pixie wool dragon, but she feels comfortable wearing it, and she really believes it gave her luck. I guess it also depends on how you believe, and how you take care of it, but we may also be very careful, so we won't get bad luck. You can wear for example, aside from the five elements bracelets, I've mentioned earlier in this video, the genuine black obsidian bracelets without the pixie wool dragon like these models. You can find a lot more on our online store. Please contact me if you want a consultation for your Feng Shui cures and lucky amulet you can use for your intentions. I offer Feng Shui consultations too, at an affordable price. Once again guys, I would like to remind you that we have different healing crystals and Feng Shui items to help you attract money and abundance, and even happiness. Please visit our online store. The link is on the description below. Remember, I am here to guide you, and share to you the things I know, not just for the money. I'll tell you the right charm to have, 
even if you want the most expensive one. If I think it doesn't suit you, then I'll let you know. I want you to have the right protection, the right charm, or amulet that brings you good luck and good fortune. If you buy the wrong one, you're only wasting your money. First thing I want to know when you seek advice from me is your birthday, so I will know what kind of element you are. Then your budget, I suggest quality products though. As I said, you don't want to use a pixie wig that is fading, do you? <laughs> and of course, I will be grateful if you buy from our online store, but it's okay if you can buy somewhere else. I wish you good luck anyway. Peace, love, and blessings to all. I wish everybody good luck, good health, and good fortune. May we have more blessings in life. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and share it with your friends. If you want to know more about Feng Shui, please remember to subscribe to my channel and get good Feng Shui in your life. See you on my next video. Goodbye.